The Aleutian Island campaign in the Pacific during World War II was fairly insignificant in terms of its military importance. However, it was important because it was the only action that took place on American soil. There are two theories as to why the Japanese initiated the action on the small chain of Alaskan islands. Some historians believe that the Aleutian invasion was a diversionary or faint attack during the Battle of Midway because it was launched simultaneously with the Midway operation both under the same Japanese commander. Others subscribe to the theory that it was part of a plan to protect their northern flank. It was not meant as a diversion. For whatever reason the Japanese decided to initiate the Aleutian campaign, the result was a healthy amount of concern from the people of the United States. Many felt that the Japanese intended to develop air bases on the islands, which would be close enough to fly bombing missions on cities along the west coast, including Seattle, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. That was a scenario that would obviously be an unacceptable possibility. The attacks on the Aleutians began on June 3, 1942, when the Imperial Japanese Navy attacked Dutch Harbor on the island of Amaknak. There were a couple of military installations on the island, including the Dutch Harbor Naval Operating Base and Fort Mears, a U.S. Army base. The aerial attacks were initiated from two aircraft carriers operating in the nearby seas around 180 miles southwest of Dutch Harbor. The strike force included 34 planes from two small carriers. The first day of strikes began at 4.07 a.m. and were a surprise to the troops in Dutch Harbor. At the first sounds of the attack, the men went to their battle stations and started returning fire from anti-aircraft guns. The majority of casualties on the first day of bombardment occurred when bombs struck two barracks on Fort Mears, resulting in the deaths of 17 infantrymen and eight engineers. The next day, June 4th, a second airstrike occurred at 5 p.m., doing additional damage to grounded aircraft, barracks, oil storage tanks, an aircraft hangar, and merchant ships in the port. As a result of the two days of attacks, the U.S. lost 14 aircraft, as well as sustaining considerable damage to the Dutch Harbor area to both military and civilian installations. 43 Americans were killed, and another 50 were wounded. Shortly afterwards, the Japanese ships were recalled from the Aleutians to the Central Pacific to support the combined Japanese fleet, which had been defeated at Midway. On June 7th, two small invasion forces of Japanese soldiers landed and occupied two small Aleutian islands, Attu and Kiska. The small number of natives on these two islands were sent to Japan to internment camps. The battle to retake Attu Island was fought nearly a year later on May 11th to May 30th, 1943. Taking part in the battle for the Allies were troops from the United States aided by Canadian reconnaissance and fighter bomber support. On May 11th, 1943, units from the 17th Infantry under the command of Major General Albert Brown, made an amphibious landing on Attu. They were met by entrenched Japanese forces who fought fiercely. The Arctic weather took its toll on American forces and even was listed as the cause of some deaths in the campaign. After two weeks of heavy fighting, the Allied forces were successful in pushing the Japanese defenders into a pocket near Chichikov Harbor. In Tokyo, the high command made the decision to send a large group of carriers, 
battleships and destroyers to repel the Americans and retake Attu. However, the Americans secured the victory before the armada of ships could arrive to reinforce the beleaguered Japanese troops. On May 29th, the leader of the Japanese forces decided to use a tactic that was characteristic of Japanese soldiers that were trapped and out of options, a bonsai charge. The bonsai charge was basically a suicide charge directly into a superior force. It would be the equivalent of a land-based suicidal kamikaze crash of a Japanese pilot into an enemy ship. On May 29, 1943, the commanding officer of the Japanese Attu forces led the bonsai charge into surprised American forces. The charge was momentarily successful and broke through the American front lines, forcing rear echelon soldiers into hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. The fierce fighting continued until almost all of the Japanese were killed, effectively ending the battle for Attu Island. In the 19 days of fighting, 549 soldiers of the 7th Infantry Division were killed and another 1,200 injured. The Japanese lost 2,351 men, including their leader, Colonel Yasuyo Yamasaki. The battle to retake Kiska Island took a strange twist. Unbeknownst to American military leaders, the Japanese evacuated Kiska Island two weeks prior to an invasion on August 15, 1943. Even though there were no troops remaining for the American and Canadian invaders to fight, there were 313 casualties due to friendly fire incidents, landmines, booby traps, and vehicle accidents. The non-battle on Kiska Island ended the Aleutian Islands campaign. The losses suffered by Americans in the Aleutians were 1,481 killed, 640 missing, 3,416 wounded, 8 captured, 225 aircraft destroyed, 3 Navy vessels destroyed, and 2 more heavily damaged. For the Japanese, the numbers were 4,350 killed, 28 captured, 7 warships sunk, nine cargo transport ships sunk, and an unknown number of aircraft lost. Although not huge by Pacific battle standards, the Battle of the Aleutian Islands was nonetheless important due to the fact that it was fought entirely on American soil. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, make a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. As always, Thanks for watching.